Good morning, everyone. I'm here for uh, Exotic and Espresso here at Prestige Imports. Uh, and it is insanely hot outside, so I'm instead just going to be vlogging entirely from inside. But there's a couple of nice cars outside. They have the uh, Lultimo outside. Uh, w Motors brought their cars out. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the Finier, new Finier Supersport is actually... Oh, they just opened up the room. Let's go check that out. In, in Prestige Imports, they have this uh, separate room. for uh, It's like a showcase room with a turntable inside of it. And they usually put like a very special car inside to be for viewing. So they just opened up the doors and uh, maybe they'll let us in. Maybe we can check it out. I mean, of course, I already saw this car like a couple days ago at the track, which uh, I think you guys... I'll put a link in the description below to that, to that video. Uh, it was very fun. There you have the uh, center lock wheels. These two flaps here are movable parts, so they can raise and act as air brakes or increase the downforce. So yeah, that right there and that right there. A lot of this car actually uses a, kind of a mix of Porsche and roof components. So the chassis and engine both come from roof. Uh, they're built in Germany and then shipped to Dubai for final assembly. I, I suppose in Dubai that's where they put on all the body panels in the interior and they make everything, you know, theirs. Uh, but that's good because that means a lot of the important components of the car are well engineered and you don't have to worry about them, uh, you know, breaking or having issues later on. But you gotta be really, really careful when you're opening this car near, uh, near some kind of curb or something. So before they close it up, let's get a quick shot of the interior. Let's see here. So it's got a carbon fiber bucket seat with Alcantara seating surfaces, pad surfaces. Doesn't look like there's much cushion. They may have, or maybe they might have an option for uh, for comfort seats. Right here. So a silver steering wheel. Kind of a simple, very simple interior setup, but the the angles and everything on the interior match the match the exterior very closely. Hop onto this side. All right, check this out. So instead of a glove box, it's just uh, an open space there. And th there's actually this carbon fiber partition between the driver and passenger. So it kind of blocks you out of the gear shifter and infotainment system. So real nifty. All right, so that's the Finier Supersport. Uh, let's see what else is in the showroom before I head outside. It's, it's super hot outside. It's like 90 degrees, so. Uh, I want to be inside for as long as possible, especially with all this hair. And I just, it's, it's an insulator, so you know how that goes. All right, Bugatti Chiron. Martini edition, 918 Spider. Beautiful LaFerrari. But check this out. This is the Blue Glauso Huracan Performante. This is PJ's Performante. I thought he had sold it to someone else, but I guess uh, someone else has sold it again. So, look at this. Yeah, forged carbon wing, but this color is just ridiculous. So it's a little bit lighter. It's kind of like a light Miami blue. Like imagine Miami blue, but like a little bit, tiny bit lighter. You know? Such a beautiful color. If you're not familiar with PJ, he's uh, Exotic Car Hacks on Instagram. And he recently sold this car and then bought a Performante Spider in white and got it wrapped Miami blue. But this color is completely different in the sun. So, this is actually the first time I've seen it under interior fluorescent lighting. And next to it, I can't believe he's selling it. This is a Gallardo a Super Trofeo. Now, I'm not sure if this is a street car converted into a Super Trofeo, or if this is a uh, race car converted into a street car. Um, you know what, let me check. It has a VIN plate, does it? Yeah, it does have a VIN plate. So I think, I think this is a uh, this is a street car converted. I mean, I think the production chassis and the race car chassis aren't too far off. So, with the, it would uh, it would take quite a bit to convert it, <clears throat> but I don't think there's a single Lamborghini available on the market right now that looks as wild as this thing. Look at this. It looks like you could go into go race this in Super Trofeo right now. Look at that. The exterior is all open. You actually see the back of the gearbox right there. Look at that. 
carbon fiber diffuser, functional diffuser too. Not some uh, you know, half-assed little diffuser that doesn't really do anything. There you go. Large stabilizer fin leading back to this large carbon fiber wing. Awesome. All right. What do we have? What do we have? Look at this Dead Tomaso Pantera. See that thing powered by a huge Ford V8. Over here, we have the Huayra La Ultimo and the uh, Project Vulcan full carbon Huayra. This thing, bright red wheels. Look at this. That's beautiful. So the silver surface, you couldn't, I couldn't really tell when I was checking this car out uh, last month or a couple months ago in the showroom, but the silver top is actually flat. I didn't realize that, it's satin silver. And then you couple that with the, uh, the gloss sort of Miami blue color on the top, on the mirrors. That's just cool. And you got the, uh, these wheels over here. Real nice. Over here, you got a matte silver AMG GTC. And, oh, check this out. Roof CTR3. So here's the mid-engine 911 you've always wanted. A carbon fiber chassis. And next to it is the $3.4 million Lycan Hypersport. So we get the hypercar corner here. I just realized, like, up in the front row right here in this little section, there's like $10 million in cars. So the Lycan Hypersport is worth 3.4 million. I think the, the Roof CTR3, I think that's about 1 million. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's about 1 million. Uh, so that's 4.4 million. The, uh, well, this is a production prototype, but when it goes on sale, it'll be 1.8 million. So that's 4.4, 5.4, 6.2 million. Thanks. And then, uh, let's see, that's 6.2 million. I think Brett's Huayra, I think the full carbon Project, Hul Project Vulcan Huayra, I think that's 2.5 million, so we're at 8.7 million. And uh, based on previous Paganis and given how special this car is, I'm, I'm putting it at 5 million for this car. So I'm guessing, I'm just guessing, I'm just throwing a number out there, 5 million. So. If that's 8.7 million total so far, so that puts, bumps it up to uh, 13.7 million dollars in cars between these five, just in front of the dealership. Look at this, all hyper cars. And if you want to throw that one in, uh, I think that's probably around 2 million for this Pagani. And uh, that bumps up to 15.7 million dollars in hyper cars. This is nuts. This is beautiful. I love this. Uh, what I don't like is how hot it is. It's like 95 degrees, so I'm probably going to head inside real quick. Oh, nice. Just as I was head inside, red Bugatti Veyron shows up. So this is all red. So you've got uh, silver on the buttresses, polished, uh, polished aluminum. There you go. 253 miles per hour. Oh, and there's quite a few cars that have shown up over here on this side of the dealership. Look at that. So, the Veyron's uh, quite a bit away, but let's see what's over here. Somebody's Huracan is. We've got a couple customer cars here. Look at that. 488, 488 Spider, seven Ferraris. Very cool, very cool. Here's the uh, purple 570S. Pretty sure it's wrapped. And the Bugatti's way down there. It'll be magic, we're gonna jump over here. And uh, they actually have a convertible and a hardtop. So I think the convertible one, I believe that's the Grand Sport. So this one's all black with a red interior. And this one's all red with a black interior. Look at that. 
Really cool. Nub East. What's, what's Nub East? New East? New Bast? There you go. Red trim in the front. So it's got quilted leather. Oh man, this must kind of suck in the Miami sun though. Especially when it gets hot and all the leather surfaces get hot and everything's burning you. Real nice. Some carbon fiber center dash. Center console. Oh, and this one has the buttresses painted in black. Whereas this one has the buttresses painted, uh, well, just polished. Real nice. Those tires, $40,000 for a set. All right, guys, event's over. Heading back to the car. So we're all going to Houston's for lunch. And uh, I'm trying to see if we can get back to my car in time, but there's all this, there's all this traffic in the way. Uh, so that way I can at least try to run with all the supercars. Uh, but they're already ahead of me, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch up. Which would be nice if they can uh, record some of the cars on the run. The speed limits? <laughs> yeah. I always turn out the wrong time. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll finish this. Don't worry about that. Holy yeah. crap. This is the Ding's chicken sandwich. I met this guy. Uh, Which is there, Deb? Better, better way. Uh, Holy crap. Taste that. It's a fish sandwich, man. Fish sandwich. A, ste a, a steroid, a steroid fish sandwich. Like, like, no, like, that's like, the like, Mark McGuire. Like, 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 Well, that was fun. Uh, heading back to my car now and uh, gonna see what else is going on. Uh, I know there's a couple of track events happening, but those are all the way at PBIR and I don't wanna drive two and a half, well, no, one and a half hours all the way just, just to get out there. So I think I'm gonna go to South Beach. I think I'm gonna, or maybe just go car spotting for a little bit um, and then I'll see what's going on tomorrow. Uh, I know that Winwood is having a cars and coffee event, so that'll be cool. Maybe I'll check that out tomorrow. So I was driving by and I saw this 911 and it kind of struck out of me because that is these, uh, these Alteza style LED rear tail lights. But then I noticed that the, the badge in the rear is this GT2 sticker. So, you know, this immediately jumped out of me. I went and parked and came over here to check this out. 
So if this is a, see, what, what it, what's a little weird about me is that this doesn't quite look like a, like a GT2. Like a GT2 has a, like the rear bumper, this vent isn't there on a GT2. On the rear bumper, this is a kind of a louvered uh, side vent. Uh, and I see he has a carbon fiber uh, rear diffuser, but I'm not sure if this is aftermarket or, or what. It does have a carbon fiber rear wing, and uh, I'm not sure what wheels these are. It's got some fat Michelin tires on it. And then coming over to the front bumper, this kind of looks more like a standard 911. I'm not sure. So if you guys know, if you guys uh, know what this might be or what's going on, uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. Let me know what's, uh, what do you think this thing is. So yeah, it's got uh, in the vent, the front bumper vents, he's got kind of the stainless steel mesh in there. So, oh, you see, there's a, there's a dead giveaway. See, a GT, a real GT car from, from, from Porsche would have a sticker on the front bumper, on the, on the hood. Not, uh, not a real badge. So there's a, that's a dead giveaway. This is probably like a 911 Carrera S and uh, it's kind of making it look like a GT2. So that's a little funky. Oh, hey, look at this. I think this is like a 911. There you go. 